Jerseys are the best. What? <laughs> Hello, Palpation Nation. Welcome to the vlog. Today, Sienna and I are here at a feedlot preg testing cows nice and early, 7.30. Oh, we have cows to preg test. What else do we have to do today? Both mortems. And an insurance exam. Insurance stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are almost finished the preg test. We have a little location change, so we're going from processing barn to the calving barn, and we have a few head left to check. Okay, we're preg testing the nurse cows now. So we've got a jersey and a couple of Holsteins. Ready, jersey? You just gonna stand there? Jerseys are the best. Look at, oh, poor girl's open. Hi, hi, sweetie. What am I doing to you? Imagine if we could do all the beef cows like that. Okay, <laughs> okay let's try the Holstein like that. You gonna stand there, Holstein? No. This is how you die. Oh, look at all the babies. Hi, little orphan babies. Is that your nurse, Mama? Is that your nurse, Cal?
Break check. No, I already <laughs> smashed it on my knee today. Okay, we are at the post-mortem pit. We finished our insurance exam and looked at the lame cow, uh, diagnosed a soul, soul, soul ulcer, a soul ulcer in her. Now we have some deads to do. It looks like there's at least, what, eight, 10? We'll go do some pathology. Are you gonna show everybody your pathology? Sure. Emphysema, edema, oh, emphysema, no. edema. <laughs> Mycoplasma pneumonia, and he also had a giant lung abscess. Ooh. Pericarditis. The pericardial sac. Pericardia. Lots of edema. I haven't seen one like that before. Usually there's more like growths on the surface of the heart. Okay, this is inside of the trachea. This is IBR, infectious bovine rhinotracheitis. Look at how nasty. We lined up all the pathology so we could do it really fast because my battery's almost dead. Do you think my battery will run out while we're doing this? I don't know, go! <laughs> okay, the first, ooh, it's so slippery. So it's myocarditis season in the post-mortem pit. Here's the first guy slicing to his papillaries. There you can see this beautiful chronic myocardial abscessation. Uh, where's the other one, right? Oh, look at that one. Nasty putrefrac putrefraction, putrefraction, whatever. Pericarditis. So well, it's caused by Histophilus somni, but all of the fibrin deposition is on the surface of the heart. Mm -hmm. This one is an acute myocarditis. So instead of that chronic abscessation, you can see this acute dark red myocardial infarct. My battery did die. We switched to the cell phone. A little slab of omentum. What do I say? Peritonitis. Peritonitis. <laughs> I always try to call it pericarditis. This is a lung from one of the Histophilus calves. Uh, here you can see the classic intralobular edema. You can see how heavy and wet it is. I had an enlarged heart and the ratio of left side to right side was just, it was one to one. And a nutmeg liver. And some edema. This is the spiral colon. So backing up a blood, right side of heart failure ascites and mesenteric edema so this guy is another you forgot to tell them this acute heart myocarditis oh yeah see and i said the heart failure with the nutmeg liver there's the acute myocardial lesion there another histophilus so another myocarditis chronic myocarditis with multiple abscessations okay you hold it do you think this is an abscess Abscess. You think this is an abscess? Beautiful. You think this is an abscess? <laughs> yeah, that's where my finger is. <laughs> all right, I'll finish the day. Thanks for all your help today, Phineas. Uh, tomorrow I am on call. And Sunday I'm on call, and Monday I'm working, and Tuesday, yeah. Let's go see what the little kids are doing. They're so fun, this day. they're driving their mom crazy. <laughs> you guys.
Stay out of my gas hole. <laughs> 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 